happy Friday, everyone. La 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 love, 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 love. I hope that you are doing fine. Ah, today, my video, today, the topic that I have is, I think my man is going through a midlife crisis. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let me stop kidding around because this is obviously a serious thing. The lovely man I married is now preoccupied with his looks and desperately trying to hang out with a younger crowd from work. This horrific midlife crisis has me convinced he's got a new woman and most likely much younger. His drinking is for one, his drinking is out of control and he spends most of his weekends in the pub with his younger mates. Often, I don't even know where he's gone until he falls through the door in the early hours of the morning. I've tried my best to get through to him, but he never wants to listen. He constantly shrugs me off and tells me that I am overreacting. Last week, I smelt a woman's perfume on him. Please help. I've, I'm at loss and don't know what to do. The first thing I want to go through is to find out how old this gentleman is. Okay. Oh, I thought it was finished. Oh, it's not finished. Sorry. Please help. I am I am at a loss and I don't know what to do. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I am not stupid. He is 47 and I am 45. And we've been together for 15 years. Recently, our relationship has become stagnant. We used to have such a great time together, but it has been months since we've had SEX. And I can't remember the last time he even tried to kiss me. When he is home, he's too busy dyeing his hair or ordering new clothes from All Saints or Urban Outfitters, shops he had never even heard of before. He was never very vain before, but now he's obsessed with working out. He is in the gym morning and night, and sometimes he doesn't even come home until after I've gone to bed. I don't know what to do. Wow. Well, um, the first thing I would say is that um, thank you for, you know, thank you. And of course, we, the Destiny family, as usual, we will try to offer our suggestions and thing. The first thing I would say is that you know your man, right? You would know the changes. You have said that you have noticed some changes as well, you have outlined the changes that you have noticed. For me, I would say, um, if it was just about like dying, he's here, staying out with friends, you know, then I would say, mm, that's not a problem, to be honest with you. And you have to be honest, 15 years has been a long time. I know, of course, that some people would say, yes, 15 years, you should be growing together, but you also have to understand that men and women as well, you need your own individuality. What, why, what am I saying? I am saying, okay, you're saying that he wants to stay out with his friends and what of you. If that's the only problem, please remember, there are some things that men will want to do with men because they actually, you know, they understand their banter, Perhaps there are things that you are not into. For me personally, I would definitely, for me, I am more for encouraging men to spend time with their friends. Why? Because it's important for men to have their individuality and it's important for women to have their individuality as well. Can you imagine how boring life would be if everywhere that you go, 
your husband has to be behind you everywhere your husband goes you have to be behind him look at it this way if that was to happen you would have nothing at home to talk about because you know you need something fresh to be talking about and if you are always in each other's company then of course there's not going to be anything different to talk about also you have to look at it that people go out learn and then they come back come back you know and they share some of the things that they learn also remember that there are some things that women are not really into well the majority of women are not into there are some things that the majority of men are not into for example you will have a situation where women love to do shopping you'll have a situation where men you know are more into their football what's the problem why can't they you know just do their own thing but have a respect for um for the family unit as well have a respect for you in the relationship as well you know sometimes they need you need to grow apart in order to come back stronger right but in saying that i also i am also noticing where you said that he is doing some things that he was never into for example you say that he's buying new outfits he is going to the gym more often he's staying out as well he's taking more care of himself he is actually trying to you know to dye out the gray hair and stuff Sometimes we forget that just like how women go through midlife crisis, there is something men go through theirs as well. The way that a man chooses to deal with his midlife crisis should not cause any undue panic, you know, or any undue worry. Instead, what I would suggest is that you sit down with your husband, your significant other, and just to say the things that you have noticed. If you were like me, I would just joke about it, you know, just joke about it and see exactly how he responds. Because most times what you pay attention to is the reaction. The reaction is what will cause you to determine, okay, should I be panicking here? Should I need to do my further investigation, right? So I would suggest in this case, if you notice that he's taking, you know, more interest in the way that he looks, etc., then of course you could just joke about it and say, hey, what have I done? For example, you could say, what have I done to deserve this handsome man? Who is this person coming home to me? I don't know who, I don't know what has happened. I don't know anything, but what I do know is that I love this man who is coming home to me. Then you're going to look at his reaction, right? If you think, because don't be fooled, you know, it could jolly well be that he is seriously going through a midlife crisis and doesn't know how to actually deal with it or how to actually voice, you know, how he is feeling and how to deal with it. If you say that he is trying to hang out with the younger crowd, he is buying from, um, buying clothes from, places where you think that they are more for the younger men then of course you know um he could just be feeling himself otherwise your um perhaps your suspicion could be right as well i am not saying one way or the other because you know your man but for me i would definitely have a conversation with him now how you choose to have the conversation that is what's going to make the difference for me I would joke about it and just watch his reaction. Based on his reaction, then I will know whether or not I need to do further investigation, right? So perhaps you want to use that channel of actually having a communication with him about him. Let him know that you have seen the changes because sometimes, you know, when a man makes certain changes in their life to their wardrobe, we just need to compliment them as women, you know, as a woman to say, hey, I've noticed, man, you're trying. I love the new look, etc. Even offer to help him with it, with it as well and see exactly how he reacts. The part that is a bit puzzling to me, though, um, when I say puzzling, I mean a bit of a concern is the part where you say that he is drinking more. 
drinking to itself within its limits of course i would have no problem with it as the woman when you say that he's tumbling into into your you know he's tumbling home meaning that he's drunk at way, wee hours of the morning the night then there's a problem it could be and that that is when i would not be joking about that conversation i would definitely be hitting the nail head on to say just to say what i have observed and then you know perhaps start a conversation because the last thing you want to want is for you to ignore what you are seeing as it relates to his drinking the last thing you want to do is to ignore it and realize later that he becomes an alcoholic so if you notice that then perhaps that is something that you want to be talking to him about other than that the other things that he's doing for example wanting to hang out taking better care of himself yes i do know that yes sometimes those are the signs when somebody is stepping out but what i'm saying is that for me i would prefer to have a conversation with him to see you know what's happening etc at the same time remember that if for example he wants to spend more time with his friends it could be that it is time for you to actually take steps towards spending more time enjoying more of your personal time enjoying more time with your friends as well but in any case you need to have a conversation with him to see exactly what is happening and to see if you know to ask him really if there's any way that you can help because perhaps you are worried you are worried for nothing right so the person who you need to talk to is your hobby to find out what's going on because perhaps some of the things that he will disclose to you are things that you never knew you never realized was happening sorry because remember ladies sometimes you know we cry on our girlfriend's shoulder we tend to talk more in that when we are having a problem sometimes we don't keep it to ourselves because we actually have like every woman i would say have that one at least that one girlfriend where they who they can confide in and uh, you know they come up with certain solutions even if you know it's not full full solutions then of course you have somebody who you know will definitely give you a listening ear men also need that as well so have that conversation find out what is going on if he's laughing it off then you need to let him know that look it's not you know it's not watch him for a bit and after having the conversation with him based on his reaction then you know if nothing changes if, with regards to the drinking um especially then you need to have a more serious conversation and let him know that look yes the other day i said it in a jovial jokey way you know but now i am really really concerned most men will take it seriously most reasonable people would take it seriously you know to have the conversation etc um i don't know about you i don't know if you know any of his friends etc you know where you could i don't know sometimes we confide in people you know because sometimes the friends will know exactly what's happening etc of course it's not inviting somebody into your relationship but you know sometimes they might be able to point you in a direction as to what is happening no matter what that conversation i really hope that things will work out for both of you i hope that the conversation will not be a difficult conversation i hope that if after having the conversation and if you realize that there is need for you to do further investigation i hope that everything will go well thank you so much for sharing your concerns your problems with us and i hope that you know the suggestion that i have given is something that you will take on board and that it will make it you know you will there will be an amicable solution but remember people in a relationship you don't need to be tied at the hips people need space to breathe so i really hope 
that it's only, you know, that is the only thing. I really hope that he just needs some little, you know, space to breathe and that it is nothing further, nothing to worry about that is happening. If it is midlife crisis, please allow him to go through his midlife crisis in peace. Because, you know, people go through their different midlife crisis using different, different strategies. If this is how your hubby wants to go through his in order to get through, then please allow him to go through it in peace. Until I upload another video, my destiny family, I say peace.